That's nothing. Go back to sleep. been sweating. It's really nothing to worry about. I just have a headache. No. I've been having these dreams again. They change every night. I wasn't ready to tell you for so long because I was I was afraid of what you might think and maybe leave leave as in leave me because I haven't told you what I've been through before I met you. I'm serious. No such thing happened. I grew up in a rough environment. There were things I didn't understand, so I just took them as is. I had a father who was really, really tough emitted a lot of ugly anger. Some of which I never really understand where he got it from. For no reason, my old man would beat me, yell and take away my things, said the things I did were a waste of time. I got more punishments from him. Sometimes he locked me out of the house late at night, especially during the cold. When guests came over, he ignored me even when I wanted to ask him something. Afterwards, he would beat me much worse. I looked in the mirror and I realized I looked like someone he was afraid of seeing. That carried over in school and doing mundane jobs. I didn't want anyone close. Because that dark side of me was the most brutal thing anyone could see. And I didn't want anyone to see it. I didn't want you to see it. It's the feeling as though... Every axiom of your life turned out to be nothing more than suffering itself, and you wonder why that is. You constantly tell yourself, what's all this for, and how do I live with it? And then you realize that even though it has made you survive for so long, you still feel dead inside. I thought for sure that I moved on from that. By the time I met you, now I don't know what to do. I don't want you to be that way either. Well, maybe, but then again, 
I didn't know who I was years later. All I know is that I came from a dark place and I still think about how I, how I can become capable of sharing a life with someone. How can I love someone if I cannot love myself? Better yet, how can I find peace within myself? I am with you, but not with myself. Yeah, I remember. I remember the first time we met. That may work for some people, but not me. We've been together for a while, possibly the longest ever, but I don't want it to end. You won't? Are you sure you want to stay with me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they say. In some ways that is correct, but they never say how long specifically. You might be right. There is no reason to push myself or strip myself. Building a new life is more important. <sighs> yeah, I'm okay now. It's going to take me some time for me to sort this whole thing out. But at least I have you to encourage me. Thanks for listening. <laughs> what? I'm your pog champ? I don't know where you get those words from, but... If it makes you smile, then it makes me smile, too. Yeah. All I want to do now is just hold you in my arms. I know that I feel safe here. With you. <laughs>